Hey, Spoonicorns, it's Spoony Pizzas. Okay, that might work from PewDiePie, but it's definitely not going to work for me. Anyway, today we have a defending tutorial, ladies and gents. This is all about online defending because offline and online are two totally different um, ways of defending. So I'm going to go through online today and then probably tomorrow or the next day uh, we'll do some offline defending. So let's get straight into it. Online defending is all about reading your opponent. So here you can see he plays the ball into Ronaldo. Ronaldo's stronger foot is his right foot. He's also got players coming in from that side. That's why I gamble and take the chance knowing that Smalling's covering here in behind and I'm able to win the ball back. In this next clip, I'm able to use the right analog stick to select my left back to push up on his winger and win the ball back. Again, I've cut his only avenue of passing there with the midfielder. That enables me to quickly change to my left back, knowing that that is the only pass he can really make other than driving forward, which he should have done. He should have drove forward in that instance, but like I said, people think they're just going to be free. Here, what you're going to see now is that in a lot of these clips, um, I would say that your formation is going to determine how you defend. My formation is very, very good in the center of midfield. So you can see here that I force him inside using my left back, apply a secondary press with Pogba and he's able to win the ball, leaving Douglas Costa in a heap. You're gonna see a lot of examples of that. Here's Douglas Costa, uh, sorry, the, the baller being played through and then Smalling just comes across, use super cancel, just grab a hold of him. As soon as I get an arm on him, I know I'm gonna out muscle him because Smalling is not going to win a race side by side, so you had to come across and grab a grab a hold of the ball, slowing him down, allowing me to get the ball back to De Gea. Next, the clip is all about tracking your runners, so any time someone lays the ball off, they're probably going to look to spin in behind you, just like I did, saw here. So I had Ashley Young, master defender of the universe. As soon as he lays that ball off, I'm tracking him all the way and just trying to get my body in line with the pass that he's going to play and I read it nicely here just taking it away in this clip here again forced him onto his right foot that's his stronger foot so he had to come back inside wait for him to initiate the skill and then I can easily just read that and take the ball off him. Once someone's in a skill animation, you know they can't do anything. So you wait for them to make the mistake first, then you take the ball from them. Here again, just getting touch tight with the defense, forcing the mistake. But notice how I get the right back early. Again, using the right analog stick. Applying that secondary press to bring my striker across to press the to press his left back. Then I'm getting real touch tight. Tracking the runner. Notice how I'm tracking him. That stops him uh, be able to play that pass. Now he should be going back to his defense, but like many players, they just feel sort of pressured, and he just plays a simple ball into my player. And I'm able to counter attack. Okay, in this next clip, look at me forcing him inside. He does actually get around me here. Overlaps. I didn't didn't track the player, but I had um, Smalling there on the cover. You can see uh, see which buttons I press to actually win the ball. But here, look how Luke Shaw comes out. I force him in, into this uh, into this area here. He's sort of surrounded by players. He does actually manage to get a good pass off here, to be fair to him. A little bit lucky, sort of goes through Pogba. I try to get tight to him to stop him moving, but he, he peels off me nicely. I didn't expect him to go backwards. And he plays a nice through ball there, but I've got Smalling on the cover here. So online defending is all about reading your opponent's pattern. This is the first time he actually mixed it up in the game. So it sort of caught me caught me off guard a little bit. But yeah, it's all about reading your opponent's play, understanding how how they're playing, track your runners. 
So straight off the kickoff, defend from the front, get right in, right into him as quick as you can. Bang, straight in. Give him very, very little time to uh, to adjust. So look, playing secondary press. Cut off the avenues for him to go backwards first. So you're forcing him forward. Forcing him to go forward. Again, he's only got one option here. He can only, he can only play it forward. And then I can win the ball back. So the key is to dictate your opponent's play. You know, they have the ball, but you can cut off certain avenues to force them where you want them to go. So here, just running straight across here. This is um, certainly uh, vertical running here is quite a good way to tackle. So I don't go to the player. I literally just run straight down. Look at my left analog stick. Not even looking to go towards the player. Because I know as soon as he takes a touch, whichever way he goes, he's not going to be able to turn quick enough. The thing he should have done was do the uh, drag back skill, but you probably wouldn't have read that I was going to come across like that. Again here, getting my left back nice and early. So I try to bring Smalling forward to jump back and head it back to my defender. But unfortunately, his man got in the way. So he wins it. He manages to pull the ball back here. But as soon as he's done that, where's the options? Where's the options for him? He can go back to his right back or he can play it to his uh, right winger. And I've already got Shaw on the radar and moving him up. Again, force him in midfield. That don't want to let him go down the wing. I want to force him in here. I'm happy with that. Just let him turn over the plate. Nice and easy. So again, I'm dictating where he wants to go. I'm not letting him go where he wants. He wants to go on the outside wing, get crosses into Mandzukic and Ronaldo. You don't want people doing that. Not when you've got Chris Morning in your defence and uh, Ashley Young. So, yeah. That was a foul there. He could have stopped and got the free kick. But not many people are that good at indirect free kicks in uh, in Pez. You should have checked out my Pez 2018 tutorials for that. They're really good. But yeah, as soon as he plays it in there, that's 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 cake for my defenders and my defending. And then, yeah, just, just shoot to clear. Because he spent all that time building up and then just, you know... Again, like I said, defend from the front. Be aggressive. And here, this is all about reading your opponent again. So, he chips it into his player. Um, he can take a touch. However, my player's already there. So, I've got cover. So, what I need to do is position Martial where I think he's going to head this ball. And I think he's going to head it back to Quadrado. And he, he does exactly try to do that. Actually, plays it with his foot. He doesn't head it, sorry. But yeah, so I was just sort of waiting for it. In this instance, I saw two defenders. I saw him burst into the middle. I knew exactly the type of pass he's going to play as soon as he gets that ball. So double tap on the D-pad, play the side trap, and then just manually bring up the last man, Chris Smalling. This was his best attack in the whole game. He got a little bit lucky here, surrounded by three players. He managed to get through there somehow nice little layoff get it wide but again just just dealt with it just dealt with his uh again forcing him in midfield here he does get really lucky with uh quadrado because i s absolutely swarmed on him he had nowhere really to go so again look how i was positioning that player to go and stop the pass i wasn't looking to close him down straight away I was looking to close the pass down to force him to go on a solo run he got lucky with the uh the solo run to be fair holding off my some of my strongest players nice little layoff here and then obviously from there there's only really one place he can play it to this guy on the wing and it's just about getting tight using super cancel 
tap X, win the ball back as per my tackling tutorial and just clear, shoot to clear. Don't try and pass it out. So many people have play, try and pass it out and uh, this is what happens when you try to pass it out. They will do bits of skill. I'm going to punish you. You don't want to be doing that. So again, pressing from the front. Not giving him much time. See me apply in secondary press as so a player at the bottom's coming across. I'm just waiting for that pass. He doesn't pass. He does a skill. And like I said, with skills, once you do the skill, you're locked into that. You're locked into that animation. And then you're uh you're doomed. So I show him a little bit of my skill and uh say thank you very much. Yeah, so online play is all about reading your opponent's patterns of play, forcing them into areas where they don't want to go. Um, it helps if you're dictating where they're going to pass and then you're ready and waiting um, by, you know, quick selection of players using your right and log stick and player select buttons to win the ball back very, very quickly. You can probably see the amount of super council use and, and techniques I showed in my tackling tutorial. Um, that are being used here as well. So keep those in mind as well. And here, just one last example, just where his player tries to cut inside, but I just run along hit, run along the side of him. And as soon as he takes that touch, just nip in to take the ball away. Anyway, that's all for me, ladies and gents. I'll try to work on a new intro. And uh, yeah, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.